Okay, in this video we're going to cover organization. So organization is at the top here. I'm going to select it. When I do, everything you see up here is all related to the organization. Uh, everything that's in gray is information that you're not able to fill out. This is filled out by the site manager. Anything that's uh, clear you can change it as you like so let's go through the fields that are editable so for manager you can select a manager so if you're outsourced your ULDs to a manager then you can select and say yes I want them to be my manager you can also put your address now the address will show up on your EUCR you can also put your email and your CETA these are also uh, generated on your UCR. Uh, if you put in a luck message, uh, sorry, luck email, then anytime you generate a transfer, or transfer is generated to your organization, or you generate one uh, from your organization, you will receive um, the luck message to this email here. Okay, so the remainder of these items, that, like I said, the airport uh, airline details are over here. If there's anything that's incorrect in these gray, then contact the site administrator. And when you make any changes here, uh, you press the update button. So say we decide we want to use a manager, we select update and that will update uh, that field for us. Okay. Now at the bottom is the sub organization. So the organization here is ULD Air 1 and ULD Air 1 has four sub-organizations right now. They're Heathrow, Amsterdam, Seoul, and Edinburgh. Okay, so if we want to add a new organization, let's do that. We press the add sub-org, it brings us over here. Uh, what I recommend is you go ahead and type in the airport code, because you type the airport code and you select it. So all the airport codes have been loaded into the system. So when you enter your airport code it'll automatically populate the location again the location is in gray you cannot change this because that is associated with the airport code of HKG which is Hong Kong the sub organization on the other hand you can change so let's say this is ULD Air 1 Hong Kong okay we press save and when we do it'll be successful and then you can see Hong Kong has been added here now, for each of the sub-organizations, you can see there's certain things that you can do. Uh, you can press view, uh, just to view the information, the details. Uh, you can also edit. If, so if you wanted to edit a particular organization or sub, sorry, sub-organization, you can. But uh, one of the more powerful fields is uh, this one where you can assign the handlers and the freight forwarders. So let's go into that. Now I've chose uh, ULD Air Seoul and you can see there's nothing in here, no data right now. So I can select add handlers and forwarders. When I do, let's say I want to add a cargo handler. So when I do this, I can pull the drop down and I can find cargo handlers that are existing at this airport and I can select one. So let's say we use um, Global Cargo Seoul. Okay, and we can save that. So now, if we come back into Seoul, into the handlers, we can see Air Cargo Seoul and their type CH, which means their cargo handler. If we select this again, and now we want to add a freight forwarder, we can do that as well. Now, the system again has freight forwarders that are loaded in the system and assigned to this airport. So you don't have to type in freehand, you can just select from the existing freight forwarders. If there's a freight forwarder that is not on the list for your airport, then talk to the site administrator, the ULD Care site administrator, they can add it. Okay, so in this case, let's choose uh, this freight forwarder. And when we choose a freight forwarder, we can, uh, we can, create their YY code. So in this case, I'm going to say INC FF1 and I press save. Uh, so now what we've done is we've added the freight, we've added that freight forwarder. Click on here again to see, and you can see that freight forwarder has been added. Uh, with cargo handlers, you can only add one, but with freight forwarders, we can add multiple. So let's say we want to come back in here and we also deal with um, uh, FF3 Soul. So again, we can say INC FF3 uh, and save. 
So the YY codes, so I'm just coming back to here. So the YY codes are used in luck messages. So if you have your luck email assigned here and you do a transfer to one of these straightforward organizations, then the YY code will show up in your luck, uh, in your luck message. If you made a mistake, uh, say you no longer deal with this one, you can select delete. It says, are you sure? Uh, and it can remove it. And then you can come back again and you can add another one. Okay, and so that covers everything related to organizations, sub-organizations, and assigning handlers and forwarders to uh, your organization.